just rode a motorcycle ride up this mountain and here's the big windmills in the above the mountains in Kethikland. They're huge. These things are monster size. They're really, really big. Take a look. So this actually creates the electricity and they transfer it down to Kathakland and Baraka. So it, they have like say over 30 of these windmills. They cost enormous amounts of money each one. They have expensive uh, computers in there and uh, the, the brains of the, uh, of the windmill is at the very top. There's a staircase in each one. They walk up like a couple thousand steps but it's, they have like 30 of them and they're really trying to make this solar self-sufficient energy for Barakai because the energy right now has to travel from Iloilo all the way here. So it's very far and Baraka Island has actually one of the most expensive energy sources anywhere in the Philippines because of the distance of the traveling and this will try to alleviate that expensive cost of the electricity. So see how that works. This is the main uh, powerhouse supply, and here's a few windmills. There's over 30 of these windmills all over the place, and they generate power to Barakai. And we're about 15 kilometers away from Barakai right now, up in the high mountains. It's very high. If you look down here, you see the ocean. It's very far down there. We're up high in the mountains. And then there's the motorcycle over there. And here's the windmill. Very big windmill. Super, super big. It has a motor at the top, and that's what generates the power through the motor. And then it feeds down the power through underneath the, the pole. So it's very complex, very expensive. So that's the solar wind power. I wonder how it was during the typhoon. I bet that thing was cranking.